So on our charging system, we want to see the, when it's charging, we want to see about 13.2 to 15.5. Anything over 15.5 is going to boil the water right out of your battery and your battery is not going to last but two or three months. So we're going to see how this car charges. So 15 volts, I mean, that's, that's perfect. And now we're gonna get into telling you whether it's gonna be the voltage regulator problem or if it's gonna be the generator problem. So literally on your voltage regulator, all you have to have is hot ground, hot going to your solenoid when the, when the car's energized and running. Ground going straight to your frame. And then you have one wire, right? That goes back to the generator. That wire goes back to the little eight millimeter nut or five sixteenths for your standard guys. And what that does is send a frequency to tell that generator exactly how much voltage it needs to produce. So you can measure the frequency, but I'm gonna teach you exactly how to diagnose this car. So all we're gonna do here is go to the ground side and make sure that our voltage regulator, and we know it's getting hot because the engine cranks. So we know we have 12 volts running into the voltage regulator. Now this black wire, just literally runs right here to the frame of the club car. And as long as you have, and I like to go on the terminal, as long as that terminal is 12, you know you got a good ground. So we know that that voltage regulator has power and should be able to do its job. Now, we have it unplugged because we're gonna test the generator here in a minute. Make sure, positive, that you unplug the voltage regulator before you do this test. Because if you don't unplug the voltage regulator, you're gonna knock it out with the frequency that we're gonna provide to this, this car to the generator. So we have unplugged that yellow wire at the voltage regulator. So what we're gonna do is what we're, what is this called, full fielding the generator. We're gonna tell that generator, we're gonna send a ground to it, and we're gonna tell it, give me all the voltage you can perform. And that's how we're gonna tell if it's the generator or the voltage regulator. So what this will do is when we fulfill this thing, this thing should just keep climbing from like 13 volts up to 20 volts. If it stops producing around 13.5 or 14, you know that generator is no good. It cannot do its job. It needs to keep climbing up to 18, 19 volts. And if you keep on the pedal, it should just keep climbing. Small side of the generator for the fields. And then we're gonna watch this voltage and see if this generator is any good. So at that point, I know that that generator is good. I know it's either a bad connection or the voltage regulator is bad. And that is how you're gonna test your generator from your voltage regulator. And no, and that is just very clear on how to test it and nobody can tell you anything.